Trent Beretta, AEW International Champion, Orange Cassidy looking for their first ever tag team victory, but facing some stiff competition in Commander and Penta El Cerro Miedo, but Cassidy, oh, no, Commander, oh, slid right out here in front of us at the desk. Comes back up, Trent Beretta swing and a miss, Commander. Oh, takes Beretta over the top rope. Tough landing there. Just lightning quick from Commander. Now looking to make a tag. As Commander trying some up kicks there, trying to break the grip of Orange Cassidy. Oh, powerful up kick there, knocking Cassidy back to the corner. There's the opening, got to make the tag, Commander, got to get Penta in. As Penta charging in, swinging a miss, but the slip blade connects. Wow, his momentum, Cassidy's momentum carried him through up to his feet for Penta hit second one. So quick, Penta. Ooh, thrust kick. Cracks Beretta across the jaw. Now the arm hook made in. Wow! There goes Commander, and now inside the ring. He's got arms jacked up. Japan, plenty of time to think about it. The cover, no! Orange Cassidy's trapped when he's up in the air for that made in Japan. There's nothing he can do. He's trapped up there. And Taz, even in a tag team situation, a pinfall victory over the international champion, Penta, he would have a very good good case for challenging for Cassidy's title. Oh, absolutely. There's no doubt about that. Completely. And with those nagging injuries over the last few months, take it back a year, 18 months, if you pin the champion, then get a shot after a match like this, you're, you might be on your way to go. Seen Ooh. the assisted fear factor from the Lucha Brothers. Commander was going to help, and, and Beretta cut him off, and now DDT on Penta. Wow, tough, tough landing. Got it this time, solving them up, and here comes Penta. Er, Trent Beretta now. Trenta. Trenta without the mask. Ooh, look at that, the pie face. Yeah, right, that's what you want to do, right? Get a little disrespect going. And this we're is seeing that intensity, Excalibur, out of Trent. Oh. That aggression growing in Trent Beretta, and now hammering oh. Commander oh. against Come the world's Commander. Come on. Come on. Sinking Come on. down. Come on. Come on. Rick Knox, tell him, take it out of the ropes. Settle it inside the ring. As Beretta, ooh, getting a little frustrated, getting a little flustered here. And Beretta just staying on top of Commander. Very aggressive from Beretta. Oh, Commander escapes the powerbomb attempt. Slips free, comes beneath. He's got the oh, nice arm trap. Oh, look at that. Tight. Cradle, no. Beretta able to break free. Just Beretta. so quick. Yeah, once again, telegraphing a Commander a step quicker. Oh, those fingers were locked this time. Yeah, you get your arms trapped like that. A tough kick out, but that's a tough chop by Trent. And that chop back in Commander. Up to his corner. Penta lying and wait for that one. A great continuity there. As Penta like a Canadian destroyer on Trent Beretta. Will this be it? Oh, there's no way. As Commander the Rock. Uh oh, uh oh. Come on. Two and four. Orange Cassidy, great job, my friend. Great job on that save. Orange Cassidy having to dodge over referee Rick Knox, still making it in time to break up the three count. Able to get that last push, that last burst of energy. You're absolutely right, Excalibur, but that took a lot out of him. Now sending Penta out. Penta sent to the floor inside the ring, though. Commander connects with that back heel kick. Going again. As Commander up to the top, maybe thinking Phoenix Splash. Yes, he is, but Beretta will throw it oh, the big knee to the jaw. And that was some running knee strike. Oh, and that was a heck of a thrust kick there by Penta. You're not kidding. And Taz, imagine the adaptation required by Commander. He, he's in mid-rotation. He notices Trent, and he changes course. But now, oh. talk about adaptation. What a counter by the beach, beach break there by Orange Cassidy kind of got Trent out of the way. Orange Cassidy once again stepping in for Trent Beretta. And there's the Orange Punch. Commander in trouble here. And Trent Beretta crunches Commander center of the ring. Three. The team of Orange Cassidy and Trent Beretta. We had some questions about how they would function as a team, and it turns out 
done pretty well. Orange Cassidy, such, I mean, he's the workhorse champion, the most matches of anybody in AEW in 2023. He didn't have to step into this match, but he wanted to do it for his friend, Trent Barretta. He did, and every time he needed him, he was there, including willing to give himself up to the offensive move Penta was attempting, instead landing a beach break, having the presence of mind and landing the orange punch to Commander. The beach break taking Penta out of play long enough for the victory here tonight by the best friends. And, oh, what? Oh. The undisputed kingdom. Matt Taven on the right hand of your screen. Mike Bennett on the left. And Roderick Strong in the center. We talked about how he has the international championship in his sights. You see Taven and Bennett already Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champions. The undisputed kingdom is after gold, Ian. They certainly are. When they were unveiled at World's End, we knew they would be dangerous when it was these three men, Wardlow and Adam Cole. We had no idea how deep the roots were planted and now surrounding best friends. And remember, Chuck Taylor just very recently recovered from a, a foot injury, broken foot. Yeah, so it's not exactly uh, an even fight here, three on three, because Chuck is not 100%. He's got a brace on that left ankle. I know you've heard me say it to the fans. I know you've heard me say it to other people, but I came out here to say it to your face. So take off your glasses and look me in the eyes. Orange, take your glasses off now. We could end you right now if we wanted to, but we're not going to. You understand that? Listen, you have been a fighting champion, willing to take on anyone at any time, but yet tonight you decide to wrestle in a tag match and not defend the AEW international title. But why? Is it all becoming too much? Are you afraid you have nothing left in the tank to keep it? Or, or is it because it belongs to me? That I'm coming for it and you can't face it. Be because it does belong to me. I am coming for it and I'm here to make you face it. Oh, so much for Southern hospitality. You shut up! <laughs> I'm trying to tell him something. Shut the fuck up! All right, all right, all right. Hey, I'll, sh I'll shut him up. You know what? You got it. Let's do it right here, right now. Whoa! Whoa. There you go. Let's go. Roddy's ready to fight. Taking his shirt off. And the fighting champion is Orange Cassidy. No, 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 no. You know what? But not right now. I... You, you're going to have to wait until March 3rd, live on pay-per-view at Revolution. Shut up. Because I want you, for the next six weeks, to live with that fact, to accept it, to wake up every day knowing. Wake up every day knowing. Shut up! Every day knowing that you, you're just keeping my title warm for me. Wow. 
Roderick Strong calling out the international champion for Revolution on Sunday, March 3rd. The Greensboro Coliseum live on pay-per-view. And once again, let's return to our colleague Renee Paquette standing by.